NCM Learning Center. Good morning, friends. In the part six AC circuit analysis video, we are going to discuss about how to calculate the capacitance value to make the power factor of the circuit is T. For example, in the circuit, if the capacitance is not present, the power factor of the circuit will not be unity. If some amount of capacitance is added in the terminal between A and B, the power factor of the circuit will become unity. So, how much capacitance is required to make the power factor of the circuit is unity? That is the question. We go to find. Let me solve this problem. The before that, the basic points. When the power factor of the circuit will be unity? When impedance is equal to resistance. That means reactance is zero. Reactance is zero means imaginary time of impedance is zero. Or imagine time of admittance zero. Then only the power factor of the circuit will be unity. All the concepts are same. When the impedance is equal to resistance, reactance is equal to zero. That's all. If you know this concept, we can find the uh, capacitance value to make the power factor of the circuit is unity. Okay. Let me solve this problem. This question is asked in gate examination. The procedure is how to calculate the capacitance value to meet the power factor of the circuit between unity is first we have to find the input impedance or input admittance of the circuit. Second, calculate the capacitance value by equating the imaginary term of input impedance or equating the imaginary term of input admittance to zero because if the imaginary term of input impedance is zero means power factor is unity. When the imaginary term of input admittance is zero means power factor is unity. That is why we have to find the capacitance value by equating the imaginary term of input impedance or admittance to zero. Okay. Note another point is if the circuit element are in series, find the input impedance because for a series circuit impedance calculation is easier. The circuit element are parallel, calculate admittance because per parallel circuit admittance calculation is easier. Okay. Now we will solve this problem. First, we have to find the input impedance or admittance for a circuit. Here in the terminal A and B, a person is added. So, calculate the input impedance for a circuit. This is input source. So, we have to eliminate this source. Use the network reduction concepts. Here, 4 ohm and J one ohm are in series. So, use the impedance calculations. So, Z in Z T1 is equal to 4 plus J1. Then, 4 plus J1 is at T1 parallel with the capacitance. Capacity reactant X is equal to 1 by J omega C. We know that omega is equal to 2 by F. So, X is equal to 1 by 2 by F. See here, frequency is given 50 hertz. Substitute here. So, we can get X e value 1 by J 314 C. Now, the Z T1 parallel with X C. If it is two element are parallel, admittance calculation is easier. So find admittance. Y in is it is equal to 1 by Z T1 plus 1 by X E. Two are parallel, the reciprocal sum of reciprocal is the resultant. Substitute here, we will get Y in is equal to 1 by Z T1, we will get 1 by 4 plus J1, or 1 by X E, you will get J3 or 4 C. Now simply with this equation. Here in this part, denominator have the imaginary term to eliminate this, multiply the complex conjugate on both numerator and denominator. Now, now simply this equation you will get further simplify this equation, you will get this. Now calculate the capacitance value by equating the imaginary term is zero. Because power factor of the circuit will be unity when imaginary term of the impedance or admittance is equal to zero. So equate this. Now the capacitance value is equal to 187.33 microfarad. If the capacitance C is equal to 187.33 microfarad capacitance is added here, the imaginary time of the impedance or admittance will be zero. The power factor of the circuit will be unity. Okay, this is a procedure for the calculation of capacitance to make the power factor of the circuit is unity. Okay, good. Visit our website www.ncmlearningcenter.com. You can get the video materials for GATE, IES, ISRO and other competitive examinations. Then PDF materials, PDF book materials prepared for NCM Center. If you use this material, 
definitely you can get the good marks in the government examinations then you can get the test series join our whatsapp group ncm learning center whatsapp group that link is attached in the description box of the video join in our group if you have any doubts related with the discussion just post in the whatsapp group you can get the solutions okay good thank you thanks for watching click the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification like comment and share